Hi, I'm Rebecca J. Venton. Welcome to my Knit and Crochet channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a fingerless glove for your 18 inch doll. The pattern's going to match the hat that I had previously made in another video. So if you like that, go ahead and check it out. And okay, let's get started. Move that out of the way so you can see. All right, we're gonna. Here's the pattern first. This is my cheat sheet. Go ahead and take a screenshot. That way, when you're not watching the video later, you'll be able to make it. Okay, Move that off to the side. Okay, you're gonna need a yarn needle, an eye hook, and a pair of scissors. Alright, I also, this says for medium yarn, and I use, I like Super Saver Red Heart, and the for medium, you'll find right here, it'll tell you what size the thread is, okay? So, to get started, chain 11. There's going to be 10 stitches plus one for the um, for that okay so 11 keep it really loose because it's going to be important because it want you're gonna want it to be able to go around the wrist if the chain's too tight you're gonna have to try again okay one two three four five six seven eight nine ten Plus the one for the height of the single crochet of the row we're going to be working on. Okay, so the first three rows, um, I'm going to have you do this nice pattern where it's a single crochet in the first stitch, double crochet in the second stitch, and you're going to repeat that all the way across because the glove pattern will match the hat pattern that I had previously made in another video. <laughs> okay, so what you're going to do first is single crochet in the second chain from hook. Here's the first one, here's the second one, so it's single crochet. Okay, so the, <clears throat> the next stitch is a double crochet. So we're going to double crochet in that one. Gives it a nice look. You won't be able to see any rows. I like that. Okay, so just keep repeating that all the way across. Single crochet double crochet in the next one, single crochet, double crochet. All right, so we're going to get to the end and I'll show you what to do next. All right, and the last stitch will be a double crochet. Okay, so you're going to chain one for the height, turn, and it said I have to do three rows, so I already did one, so now I'm going to do two more. Start off again with a single crochet. Alright, so finish that row and do one more, that way it'll equal three, and, and I'll get right back to you. Alright, I did my three rows, I'm at the end, I'm going to chain one for the single crochet height of the next row. Okay, so... What we were doing with the one single crochet and the one double crochet, that was a pattern repeat, okay? So now, I want you to repeat the pattern in the first four stitches. Okay, so let's do that. Single, double, single, double, okay. Now I want you to chain two. One, two. All right. And then I want you to repeat the pattern in the last four stitches. So that would mean that we're going to skip these two because that's not the last four. <laughs> this is the last four. Okay. Oops. So single, double, single, double. Okay, so now we're going to have one more row to do, and what I want you to do 
is single crochet in the first four stitches. So let's do the chain one for the height of the single crochet that we're going to start with. So single, there's one, two, three, four. All right, and then it says two single crochets in chain two space. All right, so here's the chain two space. Oops, sorry for hitting that. So one, two. And then single crochet in the last four stitches. All right, here's the last four stitches. So one, two, three, four. Okay, so we're done with that. I'm gonna chain one to fasten off. Leave a good tail. That's for seaming. All right, pull through. There you go, see, and now it says seam. Okay, so what I like to do is this would be what people see, the, the public side, the front of it, and you can tell the difference. This looks more crisp. So fold that over so we're seeing the back side of it, the inside. And what you're going to do is with the yarn needle, you're going to seam halfway up with one end. That's why I wanted the beginning tail longer. And then with this one, you're going to seam, just do a you know, whip stitch, seam down this way. Just go a little bit past what you did this way. Knot it, clip it, turn it right side out, and there you go. All right? And that is how you make a fingerless glove for an 18-inch doll. Hope you enjoyed it.